Hello everyone and welcome to a new Digimon news video. So let's in this video quickly wrap up what we saw at Digimon Con which was today and also say hello to little Langley here who isn't feeling very well at the moment so I'm giving him lots of love because he deserves it. So if, even if you didn't like Digicon or you didn't like this video at least give a thumbs up for Mr Langley. He turns 11 in just less than a month so he's a good boy. Anyway so Digimon Con, yes, was today, and it was pretty exciting overall and was a pretty cool event. First up, of course, we started with the video game's Q&A news, and we found out that Survive still has no release date, but still being worked on. The developer did change from Witchcraft to Hide, and that was at some point during the development, so that is one of the reasons of the delay. Also, I'm sure another reason of the delay would be, of course, the pandemic. But in any case, it's to be expected, but it's nice to know that Digimon Survive is still surviving. We did find out that there's uh, no ports or remasters of older Digimon games planned, and there are a lot of questions asking about them, but there's nothing planned at the current point in time. There was also a question about the Wonder Swan games, which are also not being remastered. It basically came down to, they cost a lot and we're not sure if they would sell. So they're kind of like a maybe, maybe happening. Or maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so next part of video game news was that the new Digimon story game is being made, which we already, yes Langley, hello, which was already announced in the past. This game will feature the Olympian Digimon and will also take place in the digital world, which is a bit different from the Cyber Sleuth games, which took place predominantly in the human world. Next up we had the Vital Bracelet Raid, which was pretty exciting. The whole VB segment lasted for about an hour, but the raid itself lasted for 20 minutes. And this was what I've mentioned in previous videos, where players had to pick if they wanted to participate in the Apoclemon Raid or the Diaboramon Raid, and I was trying to get people to join in on the Diaboramon Raid. So the raid had a lot of lag and a lot of loading time because likely of the server load of everyone trying to do this raid at the exact same time in this 20 minute time frame. And it was kind of hit a little bit by that. You could maybe get in maybe five rounds on, onto this, whoever you picked for your raid. So it was kind of hit by that, but overall I, I kind of enjoyed it still. So Diaboramon ended up winning, so that means that anyone on that team got to have some extra goodies other than the, of course, Digimon Con storage capsule and banner that was given out. We also got news of the next set of dims, which is going to be, or at least hinted at, being Digimon Frontier related. We get a silhouette of Agunimon and Wolfmon, so we can kind of assume that those will be the, uh, the dim poster children kind of things going on. Also, a side note... One of the announcers, Pulse, from the VB segment had his Digivice V in like suspiciously wonderful immaculate condition. Like if you look at mine, you can't really see the little emblem anymore at the top. It's kind of like faded a little bit. Uh, his was in beautiful condition. So either he was given like a, a stock one just for photos or if he doesn't really use it that much, he, it was in fantastic condition. Very suspicious. But anyway... So we also found out about some anime news. So we got the Zero Two movie information, which not much more to go by except for the fact it's in 2012, which is set two years after Kazuna. We also did find out about the Adventure Cole in English dub, which finally got confirmed, and we'll have Zeno Robinson as Ty and Ben Diskin as Agumon. In terms of the rest of the news that came from the event, we know more excitingly there's more bricks, so we get more Digimon Virtual Pet bricks. They look to be more DM20ths, so I'm wondering if this is a sign of the Ver Revival coming out in English. The Ver Revival, of course, was initially advertised as the same as the DM20 that was released in 2017, but when it came out, it actually turned out that these were a little bit like they had some quality of life improvements and a lot of people slept on them because they didn't actually advertise that. So the DM 20th revival or just the Ver revival has the indef indefinite pause that the pendulums and the DMX has and also fix the poop problem the DM 20th had. So I'm hoping that these aren't just more DM 20ths and they're actually a Ver revival. Alternatively I wonder if it's a new brick altogether 
we just kind of saw what their shells were. We know one is has like a cool Greymon theme and the other has a nice tie-dye theme. So it is pretty cool and there seems to be four of those. So that is exciting. And they of course spoke about the DMX that was coming out in English. So no big surprise there. So that's basically my quick Digimon Con highlights reel. So those were the main things that stuck out to me. Let me know in the comments what your personal highlights were. And of course say hello to Mr. Langley here who is very much not understanding what's going on. He is angry all the time. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this video as always. Let me know what your thoughts about Digicon were in the comments. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! And Langley is vacating my lap. Bye!